through this shed right here. We're just surrounded by rattlesnakes above our heads. This is so ridiculous. Look at this. Holy crap. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to September. There's a great disturbance in the herping world, and that is the onset of fall. Last night, it was 65 degrees here, which is the coolest temperature I think we've probably had since mid-May. It has been a very long and very weird summer. And I'm looking forward to the hopefully improved herping over the next couple of weeks as we move into September. Uh, September is one of the better months of the year here for the most part, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can get into. And we're going to start out tonight by doing a little bit of local road cruising. So, big target for tonight would be pygmy rattlesnakes. I would not be surprised if a mole king was out, but I'm really more optimistic that we could see a pygmy. So, I'm going to get to cruising and hopefully we'll find some stuff. All right, there's our first snake of the night, and that is a really, really dark, sharp-looking rat snake for around here. Wow, my brother. Whoa, look at this guy go. All right, I got the video light out so y'all can see him a little better, but this guy is so much darker than anything I've ever seen around here. I mean, that's probably going to be a solid black rat snake as a full-grown adult. I guess he's maybe two years old now, maybe three, but... Not quite fully grown, only about two and a half foot. Still got a lot of size to go. And uh, generally they only get darker as they grow. So really interesting. Good looking rat snake is our first snake of the night. I'm just gonna let him cross and we're gonna keep driving. It's so nice and cool out here. It's so different from how it's felt the last couple of months. So hopefully there will be more snakes to come. So it's about 9.30 and I'm, I'm about to call it a night because I'm feeling like it's a bust and I haven't seen anything since the rat snake, which was right at dusk. And uh, since I am close to home, it's not a terrible loss if I, if I head home early and don't see anything because I didn't waste a, mon a bunch of money on gas to get out here. I only drove right down the road. So I start home and I stop for a little snake crossing in between a couple of houses right next to where I live. I'm not quite on the road I live on, one turn away from the road I live on, but maybe not even a half of a mile from my house. And uh, that is a rough earth snake. Not a smooth earth snake, not the very common species that we see here all the time, but a rough earth snake. The first live one I have ever seen in my home county. And I've only ever seen one DOR and it was on the other side of the county possibly the most nondescript species of snake in Georgia. Unlike smooth earth snakes, you can't really even say anything about these guys. They're super nondescript. They just basically look like a smooth earth snake that's not quite as pretty with rough scales. You can see his scales are keeled and it kind of has a different looking texture to it than a smooth earth snake. So you can tell they're different. But I mean, that is by far probably the rarest snake I have ever found here. And it, it doesn't look like much at all. And it really isn't much, but that right there is the only rough earth snake I have ever seen in this county alive. And only the second one I've seen, period. I've seen a couple of live ones west of here. I think two, maybe, in the next county west. And other than that, those are the only ones I've ever seen in North Georgia. These are one of the weirdest, most patchily distributed species that we even have here. And it, like, it's hard to get super excited about this thing just because of how nondescript it is, but it truly is one of the better finds I've had this year. That is really, really crazy. And in my opinion, a great way to start the month of September. I wasn't, oh, it's starting to rain actually now. As I started to head home, I drove through a little bit of a wet patch, but this guy is moving right in front of this storm. And I really do think this is one of the very few species that we have in this area that is truly rare. They're not only secretive, but they just don't seem to be very common. They're not a particularly tough snake to detect where they are common. Uh, you can just find them under rocks, under logs. Yeah, most, of, most of these that I have seen in North Georgia have been crossing the road like this. Uh, I don't think I've ever flipped one in North Georgia, honestly, now that I think about it. But this rain is actually starting to pick up, and uh, I don't want to get soaked. But that is a fantastic find, a fantastic way to start the month of September, even if it doesn't really look like anything out of the ordinary. That is an extremely significant find for me. So, big win in my opinion. Uh, hopefully you guys can see the, the obscure beauty in this little snake that I do. 
even though it isn't too much to look at it is still a very very cool thing to find so with that being said i'm gonna call it a night here i think so i'm probably not gonna cruise too much longer but a really really obscure find to kick off the month of september just wow we'll probably get out for at least a little bit of flipping or something tomorrow so if I don't see anything else tonight, I will see you guys then. But here's one last look at this really cool little rough earth snake before we call it a night. Fantastic. Good morning, everyone. I am headed out to hike for the day. And uh, there's a guy hanging out in the road. Figured I would stop and help him out. Nice little eastern box turtle getting ready to probably run out into traffic. So. I'm going to make sure he gets across safely and we're going to keep heading to our destination, but decent start to the morning already. All right, buddy. Let's get you over here. Stay out of the road. All right, let's go find some snakes. Hopefully it's really wet this morning. All right, everyone, we are in the woods on this very drizzly, cool early fall morning. The leaves are kind of starting to change a little bit, and uh, the overnight lows are finally dipping down into the 60s. We're no longer in the 70s overnight, which means we have slightly cooler mornings and uh, actively field herping, walking around in habitat. Flipping tin is all going to become a little bit more productive over the next couple of weeks, hopefully. But this morning, I am heading out with Richard to check on an area where we've been watching what we think is a gravid female timber rattlesnake. And we're hoping that she's going to be dropping her babies sometime very soon. So we're going to go look for that snake today, along with anything else that we can find on the way. So I'm going to hit the woods, and I will update you guys when we start finding some snakes, which will hopefully be sooner rather than later. Well, there's our first snake of the day. A very deep in shed worm snake under this rock. Pull him out real quick so we can put the rock down, but these guys are always interesting looking when they're deep in shed. They almost look like a different snake entirely. But we're on the board. Their eyes are always so like ghosty looking. Mm -hmm. They look like they don't overlap, you know? Yeah. Well, it's been a while, but there is snake number two for the day. Nice little ring neck I just flipped under this piece of concrete. But definitely seems like snakes are going to be pretty hard to come by today so far. Hopefully that'll turn around, but as of now, it's been a pretty slow day. Well, a few minutes later, here's another snake, so hopefully things are picking up. But nice little red-bellied snake. This guy's pretty deep in shed, it looks like, so not looking his best, but still kind of interesting looking with that matte gray coloration. But three snakes so far all fossil reels well apparently it's going to end up being a pretty good day for these because there's our second one nice big adult male looking good right on the edge of this field really bright colors on his head just a good looking turtle all around but see a little bit of habitat right on the edge of this pretty recently mowed stretch luckily he didn't get plastered by the lawnmower as they like to do out here unfortunately but Really nice second box turtle of the day. First one we found in habitat. Well, here's another box turtle Richard spotted from a mile away. Another big healthy male. Look at that guy. Really bright eyeballs. That makes three. Weirdly enough, this has been one of the better box turtle days of the year so far. I'm not complaining. But we're just going to leave that guy to it. ring necks little fresh babies mm -hmm. that's kind of neat coiled up together all right this should have a timber under it or nothing kind of looks like something's been sitting down there there is a baby ring neck yet again yeah, there's three baby ring necks hey, in this area Oh yeah, it's baby box one. turtle, wow. <laughs> well, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Look how cute. Something took a bite out of this guy's shell relatively recently, but very, very cute baby box turtle. 
think that's number four for the day. Didn't even see him at first. I didn't see anything under the tin, and then I saw the ring neck and didn't see the box turtle, and Richard spotted the box turtle. But very, very nice. All right, I'll let you go back under your tin. A garter snake, really? a little baby one. Tiny. He'd be really pretty out of shed too. Well, I didn't see it first, but there's actually a ring neck there too. Garter and ring neck, double flip. Lots of stuff in this little area all of a sudden. Very nice. Yep. Yet another ring neck, bigger one. Well, the ring necks are at least out now. Lots of snakes all of a sudden. One of these has to have something interesting under it. Garter. Another garter. Another, another one. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> We're stacking up the baby garter snakes back here. We must. There must have been a female that had babies back here. That's three, all right next to each other. That one's pretty. Whoa. Well, it's shaping up to be a pretty snaky day after all. Three garters, bunch of ring necks, red belly, worm snake. Baby box turtle, big box turtles. Yep. Not too bad. So we decided to double flip just to make sure because there's been so much stuff back here. And there's a brown snake. Is that like a little tiny guy? That was a really cool triple flip. Two baby garter snakes and a brown snake, one piece away from the, the ring neck uh, garter snake double flip. Another baby garter snake. Yep. What on earth? Huh? There's baby garter snake number four, right? I think that's number four. First one, then two together, and then this guy. All in one little area, but under different pieces of tin, except for those two that were together. All right, well, there is box turtle number five for the day, I believe. That's an old one. Really smooth shell, super dark. Lots of these guys out and about. You love to see it. Well, there's another little worm snake. This guy's not in shed. Very sharp. But our totals for the day are really good. One of the better days of hiking and flipping we've had when it just comes to numbers. At least in recent history. Now that the dog days of summer are kind of coming to an end. Alright, dude. There's your rock. I don't know, but that one's shed already. Yeah. It? So they've had babies recently. It's been a few weeks, probably. Okay. We're not seeing our gravid female timber, but in that tree right there, about two foot off the ground, is a baby timber rattlesnake. <laughs> that is. I think I see one on the. You see a baby over there? Oh yeah, I think I see it too. All right, so there might be more babies over there, but right now we're looking at this guy in the tree because that is just so cool. I mean, that's a solid foot or two off the ground, and there's just a baby rattlesnake hanging out in the in the pine tree. <laughs> that is so ridiculously cool. We don't want to get too close because we don't want to spook him, but at least one, and then there's over there at least one more baby that we know where it's at. So we're going to look around this area see if we can find the rest of them but it's so cool and rewarding to finally get to see these babies all right well that is so awesome baby timber rattlesnake a foot and a half off the ground at least in a pine tree and there's more over there so we're gonna leave this cutie right here and we're gonna go see if we can find his siblings well it's not a great look because it's way through the bushes but you can see the second rattlesnake of the day right there Certainly a sibling of the one we've been looking at in the tree. Really cool, and there's also a ton of sheds over there, so hopefully we'll be able to spot a couple more of these babies, but you can kind of see them right there. Oh, there is the second baby one more time before we try to get a little bit closer, and you can see all around him are the sheds of his siblings and maybe his shed. That is so ridiculously cool. Mother is nowhere to be seen as of now, though. We're going to circumnavigate this whole little area and see what we can find. You see it? No. So, there's the baby we were looking at a second ago. Oh, here's another one. You see another one? Right there. I can't see that one from here, but he's right there. Look at that. That is just insane. And here's the 
here's a shed. Oh, I do see him. <laughs> here's a shed right here. We're just surrounded by rattlesnakes above our heads. This is so ridiculous. Look at this. Holy crap. Look at this little beauty. You can see the sheds there, which almost certainly belong to that guy right there. And then uh, that guy over there. This is ridiculous. We found yet another one, so there's one. Where's the one that's in the hardwood? Okay, he's up, he's up there, so you can see him there. And then there. And then there. And also there. <laughs> oh, there's another one. There's two on the ground right there. I just now spotted those. Holy crap. This is so unbelievable, but we are definitely starting to disturb yeah, these snakes a little bit. Oh, there's another one right there. I just keep spotting more. He's down low. You see him right there? No. Like over there. What even? So there's three, four. So I, I don't know how many we're at now total, but you can see they're just draped. There's sheds in the trees. There's rattlesnakes in the trees. There's rattlesnakes on the ground. They're just all over the place. This is really just unbelievable. Definitely seems like mother has, has already left the scene since they tend to stay with the babies until they shed and the babies have just pretty recently shed. As you can see, there's sheds all over in the trees and all over on the ground, so. We can assume mom has dipped at this point, and uh, we're probably gonna do the same here shortly, just so we don't disturb these guys any more than we already have, but just holy crap, what an awesome experience. Well guys, on that note, I think we are gonna leave these rattlesnakes alone. I think we've spotted all the ones we're gonna spot. I'm not sure how many we're up to. I think it's probably around eight or nine and uh, maybe a few more sheds than that. So there's probably a few around here that we haven't seen, but we don't want to disturb them anymore. Uh, they've already taken note of our presence and we have taken note of theirs. What an incredible experience to be just sitting here in the forest with rattlesnakes surrounding us in the trees. <laughs> really, really absurd, but all good things must come to an end, so. We're gonna give these beautiful animals their space and probably call it a day here because I don't think it's gonna get any better than that. Really, really just obscene. Don't even, don't even really know how this is even happening right now considering less than a week ago we found a solid black cane break in Alabama and now we're looking at a freshly dropped litter of babies that are just hanging out in the trees like green snakes. All right, we got a little last minute snake on the way back to the car. Another little hatchling ring neck. Look at this, look at this little worm. Come here. <laughs> He's so small. That guy has not grown nearly as much as the other ones we saw have, but very cute nonetheless. Baby snakes absolutely everywhere today. You love to see it, but we're just gonna let that guy keep crawling. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna call it a day here or if I want to go out to a different spot. But either way, we're heading back to the car and wrapping up the day at this spot. So unless we see something else on the trail, that's probably gonna be it for here. All right, everyone, well, I am back home. It was a fantastic day. Only a few minutes after I got back to the car, the bottom absolutely fell out of it. And it started raining and just never stopped. But it's hard to complain about how we did today. Even without the baby rattlesnakes, it would have been a pretty decent day. It was just cool to get to see that many snakes uh, undercover. And it's definitely a good sign that we are moving into fall very quickly and there will hopefully be plenty of good episodes to come but wow just seeing those baby rattlesnakes was fantastic that's right up there with the uh the black timber uh for me in terms of really cool encounters that we've had this year it's just been a very rattlesnakey couple of weeks and i am perfectly fine with that i've enjoyed the heck out of it and I'm looking forward to getting out again. So it's been a fantastic episode. I'm going to wrap this one up here, I think. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.